The fourth coat is very important. Oh, Mrs. Sneed, you look beautiful. I usually talk to them as I'm doing their makeup, just in case their ghost is hanging about. I would hate to come across as rude. I've been the beautician at Astoria Funeral Home ever since I graduated high school. I don't have any formal training or anything like that, it just sort of comes naturally to me. Kind of like laughing, I'm really really good at it and I never even had to practice. <laughs> See? Being a fashion guru for the dead isn't as glamorous as you might guess. Just yesterday, as I was repairing a client's pus-filled facial abscess, I chipped a nail. C'est la vie. And people are always asking me very difficult questions, like Marilyn, does working with the dead ever make you wonder at your own life's purpose or humanity's existence as a whole in this seemingly meaningless and postmodern tech-driven society in which we live? And to that I say, I don't know what those words mean. But sometimes I do wonder how pinwheels work. Where do the batteries go? Later today, I'm giving a presentation to the New York Funeral Committee over my unique style choices for the recently deceased. Ladies and gentlemen, before I begin, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank my boss, Frank, for turning me on to the exciting world of postmortem beauty. Frank is such an amazing person and a stand-up guy, I just wish I could do him. A million good deeds every day. I don't know how I'll ever really thank him fully, but later I will try by giving him a blowjob. On his penis. Like most of you, there are times when I'm looking at the fatal head trauma or facial maimings of some of my clients, and I just want to throw in the towel. But now, with my creative new beauty techniques, you can take even the bloodiest of head wounds and turn them into sassy style choices that are truly drop-dead gorgeous. Concealing head wounds, flirty spring tips. I need a hole in the head about as much as I need a hole in the head. Which brings me to my first look, gunshot wound. But don't dismay, this look can be a real fashion bullseye. As you can see, I chose a bold shade of sapphire to divert attention away from the entry wound for a look that says, I'm down, but I'm not out. And for this naughty little bullet hole, I made the fashion forward choice to just stick a little flower in it for some fun, cheery springtime flair multiple gunshot wounds. Now this is what I call pushing up daisies. Note the generous use of blusher for a sun-kissed look that says, I just bought the farm and then I took a hayride through its orchards. Missing person. That's just a little funeral home funny. Shark attack victim. The shark only ate her lower half but she has this pesky little mole on her cheek. So for that, I, you could just use some concealer or something. Sporting fatality. It's my professional opinion that deemed funerals are highly underrated. For this particular blunder, I might suggest a lively pirate themed funeral to add some levity to some otherwise murky waters, matey. Arg. This concludes my presentation. Thank you very much, everyone. I think it went over gangbusters. Next week, I'm giving a speech at the Severely Mutilated Seminar entitled, Decapitation, No Need to Lose Your Head. Oh, Piddle, I chipped a nail. Oh no, I'm so angry right now, I just... Mm.